audio system with navigation, if so equipped. Your vehicle is equipped with one of these audio systems, which are configured differently but include similar functions. If your vehicle is equipped with any of these audio systems, please refer to the Owner's Manual for more information on your audio system. The audio system with navigation includes an FM-AM radio, a CD player, and XM satellite radio, if so equipped. This is the control panel. Audio functions will appear on the display monitor. Press the volume on-off control knob to turn your system on or off. Turn the knob left or right to adjust the volume. Your radio will play FM and AM stations and, if so equipped, will tune in XM satellite radio. Press the FM-AM button to change between AM, FM1 and FM2. Pressing the XM button will allow you to choose XM1, XM2 or XM3, if so equipped. For full details on XM Satellite Radio, you can refer to your owner's manual or go to www.siriusxm.com. To tune and stop at the next or previous broadcast station, press the Seat Category or Track buttons. If playing a CD, press the Track button to advance to the next track. Press the Seat Category button and the current track will restart. Press either button several times to skip through multiple tracks. Press and hold the Seat Category button for more than one and a half seconds to rewind or the Track button to fast forward the CD. When the button is released, it will resume normal play. The Tune Folder Audio Control manually tunes the radio. To move up or down through the stations, turn the knob. When you press the Scan button, it will seek out and stop for five seconds at each broadcast station along the dial. When you reach a station you want to listen to, press Scan again within the five seconds to stop. To adjust audio settings, you'll press the Audio button. It can adjust bass, treble, balance and fade. Simply press the Audio button repeatedly until the audio effect you want to adjust appears in the display. Then turn the Tune Folder audio knob left or right to adjust it to the desired level. You can also adjust these audio features by pressing the setting button on the control panel and selecting audio. You can use speed sensitive volume to make the audio louder at faster vehicle speeds and quieter at slower speeds. You can set up to 6 AM and 12 FM stations and, if so equipped, 18 satellite radio stations in memory. First, choose a radio band by pressing the FM AM or XM buttons. After selecting a radio band, AM, FM1, FM2, XM1, XM2 or XM3, tune to the desired station. Now press and hold one of the preset buttons, 1 through 6, until the radio mutes, indicating that station has been set in memory. The radio will then resume play. Store additional stations on the band of your choosing by repeating these steps. To play a stored station, select the radio band where it was stored, then press the corresponding button, 1 through 6. While playing the radio, to change to CD mode, press the Disc Auxiliary button. In CD mode, the menu key will appear on the screen, allowing you to access many more options for adjusting display settings and play patterns. Press the Repeat Random button while a CD is being played to change the play pattern among one track repeat, one disc random and normal play. This feature also changes the play pattern of MP3 discs and optional features such as iPods and USB devices, if so equipped. Press the Eject button to eject the currently loaded disc. Press the Disc Auxiliary button to cycle through and choose from the following modes iPod, USB, CD, DVD, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary, if so equipped. To learn more about the USB jack, please go to the USB jack and iPod connectivity chapter or refer to your owner's manual. The auxiliary input jacks on the back of the center console, if so equipped, allow compatible devices to be plugged into the audio system, accepting NTSC compatible devices such as video games, camcorders, portable video players and some MP3 players. These jacks are color-coded for easy identification. The yellow input jack is for video input, white is for left audio input, and red is for the right audio input. Before connecting a device to the jacks, make sure the device is turned off. 
After plugging in a device, press the Disk Auxiliary button to begin play. Please refer to your owner's manual for more information on all audio systems and their operation.